2017 was eye-opening. Initially, when I started to look back at the year, I thought about all the bad things that happened and how terrible I thought the year was. It's easy to feel disappointed when all you focus on are the bad things, the things that didn't happen or the things you wished happened. Looking back, I spent a majority of the year feeling kind of lost and unsure about a lot of things. And it took me a while to realize that the thing I was the most unsure of was myself. Of course, I had moments of great happiness and, dare I say, moments that I felt the most happy I've ever felt. Like, I'll always look back at my trip to Marrakesh with awe and fondness. My trip to Ghana. What incredible, wonderful experience that I'm so proud to be a part of. And those of you who contributed to help raise money for our school, you should be proud of that too. There are a lot of other good and fun things sprinkled into the year that mostly went undocumented, but I assure you, there were good things that happened too. The thing is, it's hard to sustain a consistent level of happiness when the foundation of who you are is unstable. And this isn't something that I think people come to easily or quickly, I think it takes time. And if any of what I'm saying right now makes sense to you, or maybe you're going through it right now, you know how hard it can be to find a way out of that uncertainty. So yeah, you didn't see me a lot last year. I have always thought of myself as an independent and strong person, and I've always wanted to help other people. That's what I've always wanted to give you on my channel and to encourage you to find for yourself because I know how important it is to be an individual and then be able to stand alone. I wasn't that person last year. I had somehow drained my resource of being able to do that and care for other people because I had not cared for myself. So as challenging as this last year has been, the last few months have been pivotal because I've been able to rediscover that independence and strength that I once had. And I'm never gonna be the same person that I was two or three years ago, but I can be a better version. And so with all of that, I just wanna say 2017, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to feel emotions on a spectrum that I never thought I could and for giving me clarity in this new year. I'm just gonna take it a day at a time.